Does Asian food go better with beer that's been brewed with Asian ingredients? That's the question the owners of a new brew pub in Logan Square are trying to figure out. They're using peppercorns, tea, and other spices in their beers, and our hungry hound went to check it out. Here's Steve Dolinsky with his Saturday Night Sampler. One of the kitchen's prep stations is unmistakably Asian. There are dried chilies, fermented black beans, and finely minced ginger and garlic. But in another section, a massive seafood tower is being assembled, while a filling for a Taiwanese gua bao bun contains thinly sliced roast beef, minced jardinere, and charred scallions. The Midwest meets Asia theme runs throughout the massive two-story bishi along a revitalized section of Milwaukee Avenue, where the team isn't trying to adhere to strict recipes. We kind of wanted to be able to still use uh, Midwest farms, so it is definitely fusion. We're not trying to go for authenticity, but something that tastes amazing. That meant the beers brewed on site had to have a few Asian influences, like Szechuan peppercorns. And it was a risk. I, I didn't know exactly, I had an idea of uh, how it was gonna turn out, but I didn't know for sure until I tasted it. Things like um, jasmine tea and uh, uh, magnolia um, oolong teas and, and freeze-dried fruits in general. So it's not only Asian, it's also culinary and it's also meant to go with food. That seafood tower is impressive. Plump shrimp, briny oysters, sweet crab meat and lobster are all fine pairings with the light hoppy beers. But one dish in particular, the belt noodle, just screams for beer. It's a street food that uh, my sister really enjoyed while she was living there. Fowler first heats peanut oil, then pours it over chilies, fermented black beans, garlic, and ginger. The long noodle is stretched and torn slightly, but kept intact on the ends. Normally it's done with a linguine-style shape, but uh, we were already doing belt noodles, so the ends are what holds it as one big belt. Boiled briefly, the noodle is added to the bowl with all of those oil-cooked ingredients along with some cooked bok choy, and then more fermented black beans, toasted crushed walnuts, a splash of chili oil, and some fresh scallions. I like the different textures of the belt noodle, where you get the thinner from the middle, get the chewier from the ends. So Fowler isn't focused on making everything precisely Asian, just Asian ingredients inspired by the Midwest with, of course, beers to match. In Logan Square, Steve Dolinsky, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. In this week's Extra Course, Steve's web-only video, he checks out the Sam Platter at the restaurant, which he says is a good way to get your friends involved at the table. To see that video or get more information about Bishi, just go to abc7chicago.com and click on the Sections button. You'll see the Hungry Hound tab in the middle of the page. That will link you to all of Steve's. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.